Hello, and I am just going to do some exercises to boost the immune system. I got a phone call last night from my daughter, who's down in Cork, and she's just um, a little anxious because there's so much of the virus around. So I said, okay, I'll do them with you this morning. So here we go. The very first one is tapping here in your K27. This is a really good one because it kind of tells all the other meridians to get into um, rhythm and tries to get them all working together. K27 is a really, really powerful point. So that's the K27 and tap for um, a few minutes there. Well, about 30 seconds. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is you want your energies to cross over. So grab your shoulder and then just cross over there. Two, three, four, five. This is really good because energy needs to cross over. And now the next thing I want to do is I want to support the spleen meridian. And the spleen meridian starts down at your toe here. So I'm going to trace this and it comes up here and down. So I'm going to trace that three times. One, two, and the spleen meridian is like the mother meridian. It's always giving. And then I'm just going to tap here. That's the end point of the spleen. And you can hear me tapping, so I'm going to tap quite good. And if you have the time, another simple exercise is, tr is um, not tracing the meridian, it's cleansing the meridian. So you take the spleen and you go backwards, right, to, re to get all the junk out. And then you trace it three times. One, two, three. Okay, now the next thing is your aura, especially when you're going out. You want your aura strong. Sometimes your aura can be far too far out or depleted and in here. So your aura is sort of a, a like an egg shape. So you want your aura strong. So take a deep breath in, rub your hands together, shake them out and take a deep breath in. And then you just figure of eight. This is a figure of eight and I just, figure eight my whole aura and you can do the sides and then if you want to you know you're worried about the back you can figure of eight it and shimmy into the back of it so your aura and just visualize figure eighting your aura the next thing is it's the zip up this is a really simple exercise but it's really powerful you zip up you rub your hands together, rubbing your hands together, shaking them out and connecting is like flicking a switch. It, you're able to move and shift your own energies. So you put your hand just there in your pubic bone and you zip up your aura or your, your central meridian. And I like this because, and I'm doing it nice and slowly, you're working on your meridians. You're also working on your chakras because you're practically covering most of the chakras and the third time you just zip it in and sometimes a lot of people say affirmations when they're doing the zip up you can say i want to be grateful or i choose to keep my body strong i choose to protect and keep my body strong or if you're feeling confident you're going into a con uh, um, a meeting that you're feeling a bit vulnerable I choose to stay. I, I choose to stay confident. Okay, now the next one is really, really important. We have neurolymphatic points, so we want any toxins to go straight to the limbs and out the body and replace them with wonderful, strong energy. So we, what we do is we sort of rub our neurolymphatic points, and you start with the collarbone, and you go, and you rub quite hard all along under your collarbone. And all these are different neurolymphatic points, and if they hurt, you should be rubbing them. But be careful to do these. I'm going to show you a lot of the points, but don't do them all together. You know, these along the, the sternum, either side of the sternum, rub them hard. And then along the sort of the crease in my shirt, I have a shirt that goes down. It's 
I always say where your arm joins your body. This is quite hard. I'm working them quite hard. And another place that's really sore is along here. You can do them together or rub them. There's no rhyme or reason to me. And then I'm just, uh, the next place is, you see your belly button, either side of your belly button, and then up an inch. Ooh, I need to do that one. And then down an inch. And then also along where your legs join your body. Okay, and these ones are really good here. <coughs> Excuse me. Along the outside, see, the outside. And they can be really sore large intestine. If I feel I need, if I'm constipated, rub them down. But if you're the other way and you have the runs, <coughs> excuse me, rub them up this, I uh, rub them up this way. It's a really, really good one. And you have more in here, just either side. And also under, again, I should probably do this just there under the rib cage. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are all areas that you can use to boost your immune system, keep them strong. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any more? Oh yeah, another nice one is the stretching the spleen. So rub your hands together and come in and then reach up as high as you can go. And my hand is sort of stretched up like that. And then back. <sighs> there you go, up again. Last one. And then down. Take two slow, deep breaths. And figure eight here. And last but not least, and down. Okay, and the last one I'm going to do is um, just rub your hands here. First of all, stand in a really strong pose. This is the really strong pose. You know, your chest out, shoulders back, standing tall, and then put your hands there, and then rub your hands here for a few minutes. Come along there, it's a really, really good exercise. And then bring them down with your pat, and you can feel the warmth in your hands, and then around here, and then up, finish here, and back down at your heart, take three slow deep breaths. And then one, two, three, and finish up with your hand on your heart. So there are a few exercises to boost and keep your immune system going strong. Now tomorrow morning, I'm going to do the eye exercises. She said she was on the computer all day from nine o'clock to, to about five o'clock with online lectures. So I'm going to do some eye exercises that you can do throughout the whole day. They're really good because we never really bring energy to our eyes. So I'm going to do those tomorrow. So thank you very much for listening, anybody who's doing it, and enjoy. Bye. Ta-da!